great cities like great ideas are always a work in progress. We know that tomorrow will be different from today. The School of Interactive Arts and Technology is part of the uh, Faculty of Communication, Art and Technology at SFU. So we do interactive systems technology, media arts and design. This is a user interface for playing a game. So, uh, for example, this, uh, we use some sensors to play a uh, rock, paper, scissor game with the character. And through that game, uh, we have these models of affect. Go. I just keep losing. I don't know why. It's, it's just a random. <laughs> Brad's total three. Go. Ah, <laughs> oh, you won. <laughs> yes. A lot of what we do here is user testing and user experience design. Okay, so and what, how is that going to be utilized in the world? Um, so our students are doing everything from how people interact with particular websites to um, how they interact with actual products. If you look at the screen here, you can see what she's looking at. These are 3D, like little television sets. Um, so you're seeing a 3D world, and because Janice is using her hands that she can see in the simulation, she feels like she's in the simulation, not just looking at a computer screen. This is Janice and Henry, and they um, experienced illnesses when they were little and were seen at Children's Hospital. And they're designing an immersive virtual environment for uh, kids at Children's Hospital who um, are undergoing chemotherapy. Got the hint. Okay. Put on the hit. There we go. And as a cancer survivor, what happened in being a cancer patient at a really young age? You're like depressed, you don't know what to do, you thought you're gonna die, and because you have going for a, uh, chemotherapy, you're not allowed to actually leave the hospital. So we've got um, the green screen rooms are all Oh, we like green screen up. rooms. So if this is green screen, then I should be able to just take it out and put myself on the beach, right? Absolutely. Or I could be the weather person right now. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I would rather be on the beach. And there's the beach. And the beach is gone. Yeah, fun, right? <laughs> One of the giveaways that we do a lot of human computer work is one of the best ways to get movement on a computer is with a motion capture system. Motion capture systems are really expensive. The biggest motion capture system in the world is right here in Burnaby at, at EA. We're just talking about performers moving and dancing and getting them into computers. In the old days, I would have to uh, make a maquette of them and put all this tape on them so we get all these points. So we actually did that uh, for a, a rather well-known video in the early 1980s or late 1980s, 1980s. What was it called? This was the German group Kraftwerk. Students can work together to build something innovative and new and just things that are for the future. We are here. As you can see, we're here in the Central City Shopping Center here in Surrey and there's the rest of Surrey and Langley to the right and a little bit of New West up there. Um, and so one, op, one thing that we can do on these large displays is now interact with a lot of information. Have visualizations of cars in real time for traffic pattern analysis or something like this. And then analyze what would, for example, a replacement of the Patula Bridge do and so on. 